So what I want to show in this video is I'm extremely close right here on my carpet and I'm about a half inch, maybe even more than that. You see right there how short I am all the way, uh, let's see here, all the way up through there. So I want to show how, and this closet is just six foot wide, as you can see right there. So I want to show you how I'm going to get that much out of stretching, okay? How I work my carpet to get it loosened up. Maybe that'll show right there. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay, so instead of just pushing all at once like that, that's there enough, but that's not going to be enough, so I need to get more than that. If you can see that right there. Let's see. See here. See, that's just flush right there. That's not enough. So let me show you how I'm going to get more than that. So rather than trying to get it all in one spot, I'm actually going to work my carpet and get it all stretched. Loose and softened up. Okay, now look at that. Look right there now. I got more than enough. I got probably a half inch. And I don't have, I only got one row tack strip. I only got one row tack strip on the back, okay? So that's going to be good, boy. Let me go ahead and slice this right here. And I won't have to do that. I won't have to do that the entire way. I'm going to go ahead and come this way so you can see. Because I've already got that stretched and loosened up a little bit. Now see that? That's plenty right there. That gives me, uh, let's see. Sorry. So that gives me plenty right there to work with. So it was just the initial stretching and getting it all loosened up. If you can see, I'm going to switch you around here. Okay, it's the same way right here. It's still short there. See that? There we go. I'm just mashing it down. You can hear it crunching. That's going to be good. You can see right there, still, still a little bit short. Let's see uh, right here. See that? Still a little bit short because the towel's way over there. So. Go plenty. Okay. Now, I did not even tack strip this myself. This job was already tack strip. I demoed and pulled. I demoed, pulled the carpet up, and just worked with what was already there. Show me. back here in the back of the closet still good didn't pull off any now when I did set this wall I did bump it up with the kicker and make sure I got a good tuck okay I didn't just have it flushing that and I bump, bumped it up with the kicker and made sure I had a good nice tight pack or tuck or whatever some people call it but anyway 
what I'll show you right here. Actually, that looks like that. That's going to be pretty good. So, maybe we can just trim a little bit. A little bit off there. That's going to be good right there. Okay. So. I actually had a guy ask me the other day, one of his helpers cut it about a half inch short. He was asking would the power stretcher stretch that much up. I was like, absolutely. And this right here should prove that it easily because we're working in a six foot closet here, not even the width of a room. And the tack, one row of tack strip is holding. And, uh, and uh, I got plenty plenty to tuck in there. Again, notice me pull the nap back and then push it in. So you got a little bit of uh, latex on my stair tool there. Okay. So that's basically what I wanted to show you there. It's just uh, How to get that initial pull to where it was plenty far enough there, okay? If I just tried to pull a half inch all at once without loosening my carpet up the way I did, it probably would have pulled the tack strip loose. We'll go right over here. Let's look right here. I'll come back over here because this is still short right there. This right here is still short because I started coming this way just to show you. But again, you just want to work it. You, know, you don't have to you know, you stretch it once. See how I'm just getting the carpet loosened up to stick? This is just loosening. Getting the carpet all nice and loose. That way it's not stretching all at once there. Okay. Now, I got plenty there. <laughs> 